and we want to see it happen, but we want to see true peace that is going to bring lasting stability to Afghanistan. The Afghan conflict is not, it doesn't, it's not just the internal dynamics. We would like to deal with it sequentially so that we would like to first get an understanding of uh, in, in a consensus internally, which is what we're doing with the lawyer Jarga, on what are uh, the uh, compromises we are prepared to make uh, to have that peace. And, and then go and, under, and, and get that discussion in the region and the stakeholders that have an interest in Afghan security um, to be able to have a, 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 a comprehensive dialogue with them on what peace in Afghanistan means, including the patrons of the Taliban. You know, they, of course, spend a lot of money in, in, uh, and um, effort into bringing instability for, for a purpose. And we would like to be able to have honest um, and uh, comprehensive discussions with that so that we create a state uh, that lives in harmony internally, peacefully with itself, but also with the, with the region. And we will, we're thankful to the United States for all its support that it has provided Afghanistan in the last 18 years. We are where we are today because of that. And I think millions of Afghans have suffered and have benefited from those opportunities. We have uh, constructed roads and universities and schools, uh, all of that as a result of um, uh, the investment that the United States has made. Uh, there are 40,000 fighters the Taliban have. There are million, at least one million Afghans that are civil servants in the Afghan government, you know, serving in different capacities um, who, um, who have who represent the Afghan state, and then the millions who work in other parts of uh, you know, the, the state institutions or private sector, all of whom uh, are, uh, are, you know, uh, are thankful to this international partnership. We would like to maintain it. I think it's in our interest, and it's also in the interest of the United States for us to have constructive, uh, mutually respectful partnership going forward, as is mandated and stated in the bilateral security agreement and the, uh, um, the, the strategic partnership agreements. Uh, and however we define our future, um, uh, it, it will be uh, it, it, the Afghan state is prepared to have. Like I said, I would repeat, we don't owe the United States anything. If the U.S. would like to withdraw today, uh, you mean we, the U.S. does not owe you anything? We don't owe the U.S. We are not. We are not going to complain or issue that. It's not an issue of uh, of that sort. If the U.S. would like to withdraw today, we will. We will work with them. All we ask is that we do it in a manner that's responsible, so that we maintain stability and security in Afghanistan and in the region, uh, and in the interest of the United States. So um, and that we do not make vacuum or allow, create a vacuum for terrorists to operate out of. Uh, but um, we are thankful to the thousands of Americans who have served in Afghanistan, oh, sorry, um, uh, laid their lives, uh, made the ultimate sacrifice in Afghanistan, and also the millions of Americans who served with us uh, to create the country that we have. Uh, and it would be a shame to let it go to waste. Long thanks, answer. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Wonderful. All right. Thank you.